going on everyone? It's Rich Larson in today's video, girl, you won't believe. Rich Lux exclusive. Oh, we're back at it again, girl. Okay, we're gonna talk about Maddie Moods, Lori Lee. Hmm, let me see. Yes, let me see. I'm gonna talk about Bradman Rock. Very interesting key. Yeah. Yeah, here we go, Manny Mooch. And Cole Kerrigan. You don't have all the receipts and deleted tweets, girl. All right, well, let's talk about Cole first. Okay, here we go. Love her so much. All right, I met Cole. Let me talk. Let's spill the tea on Cole. Cole is a very nice person. She's very spicy. She is very, like, oh, my gosh, like, you know, Cole, I think Cole's, like, 21, but he doesn't act like a 21-year-old. He doesn't act like a 21 year old. He acts like, like a much more, like a, he acts like an older spirit. Like he's been through some stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like he comes across very like edgy and rocker. Like he's somebody you just don't want to mess with. You do not want to get an argument with Cole, okay? It's almost like when you see a queen and you're like, I don't want to lip sync against her. I don't want, I want to lip sync for my life against her because she'll take me out. You know, it's very much that, you know? If Cole was a drag queen, I know she could lip sync for death drop, everything. Like she'll, she'll slay the world, slay the world. So, for those of you who aren't caught up on the drama, Jake Paul decided to have his, a new Team 10. Cut Cole out of all the people who entered. He was like, he saw something in Cole and was like, come over to my mansion in California and be a part of Team 10, okay? Took her from Texas, threw her in Hollywood, and she was surrounded by all these nice cars, big houses, Hollywood world, life, girl. Well, things didn't go too well, girl, because Cole ended up getting, I guess, kicked out, or did she quit, or whatever, kicked out of Team 10. All the drama went home because Cole made a video spilling all the tea and what really happened behind the scenes, bro. So I watched the video, and I'll let you guys watch it too down below. I'll leave the links so you can check it out and you can form your own opinions. But I watched the video, and here's what I have to say about it. Okay, so I kind of feel like Cole is per it's not perfect, and neither is Jake Paul. It's not perfect either. I think that Jake Paul maybe had like a lot of people like, hey, you know, kick him out. Oh, he's so annoying. Kick him out. You know, I kind of, and then he just took their advice. You know, honestly, Jake should have really been committed to Cole and being like, look, these are the issues I have with you. Like, literally, if you have issues with him and you, you part of your team, Sit Cole get down and be like, these are the issues I have. I really want you to win. Like, stop doing this, stop doing that. And like, really, really mentor him, right? So one of the issues is they called, they called Cole lazy because she don't film no videos. Okay, first and foremost, if you're in part of Team 10 in this house, it is, to me, in my opinion, it is a view farm. That's what I call it. It's, it's basically views. The house is meant to get views. You want to make content. You want to push out videos. It is a content farm. Okay, that's what you call it. That's what I think it is. So anyone in the house has to be pushing out content at all times, okay? And I think, and their biggest criticism was that Cole wasn't pushing out content. Well, you have to understand, first, I'm gonna stick up for Cole, and I'm not gonna stick up for Cole, because I'm gonna tell how it is. Jake Paul needs to understand, and I had to, I had to learn this too the hard way too. Filming makeup videos, Jake Paul, takes a long time. Like, Jake Paul can just vlog his life and pump out the video. I can sit here and spill the tea and pump out the video with hardly any editing, okay? But when you're makeup, you really have to, let me show you this real quick. You have to get the brush. Oh, this is the 499 brush. Oh, gotta get that angle where you can see the little thing. And then we put it on here. You gotta zoom in the camera. All right, you see that? All right, it's like multiple angles. It's so time consuming to do this whole entire makeup gig can take 30, 40 minutes, you know, especially if it gets like really crazy like Cole does. It can take three, four, five, six hours to do makeup and then turn around and push the video out just to go do it again the next day. Doing makeup takes a lot longer than, you know, just a regular little vlog, okay? This, and then here comes the question. If Cole was to be turned into this makeup machine constantly doing looks and then having the editor post it i think in a way like it's fun but then you kind of like lose like you kind of lose it kind of like nikki tutorials you know nikki tutorials used to do tutorials now she really don't do tutorials anymore you know it's time consuming it takes a long time and then you want to recreate it three times a week that's a lot of time and it just it does something to you where you're just like i'm just a machine oh my god pumping out makeup looks for views so i think that cole had an opportunity to be some robot machine and Jake did it. I don't know. I feel like Jake didn't really appreciate that it's an art form and it takes time, okay? And Cole 
really wasn't pumping out videos of makeup looks. It was more Instagram. Like, oh my God, I tell everybody, I'm like, check out Cole's makeup looks. They're sick in the house, right? But because it takes so much time, like, oh my gosh. So I think that Jake Paul had been like, give us one video a week, like one makeup look. And then let him do that for a couple months. Okay, do it, give us two. And then, you know, sometimes, okay, try to give us three. Like something like that. But, you know, then it comes the whole issues with like, they didn't give him lighting, they didn't give him this, all the opportunities. All that said, that's sticking up for Cole, that the fact that um, makeup take is very time consuming. Now, the part where I'm not gonna stick up for a Cole, love him so much, is that, here was this awesome opportunity, allegedly awesome opportunity, and Jake Paul said they would give they would give him lights, they would give him this, they would give him that, and I think they should have gave him the lights quicker so he could really like. I kind of feel like they're like, okay, here you go, but they didn't like, like, okay, this is this is what we really want you to do, pump out these videos. All right, then he starts getting into I didn't have my own room, and I did have my own room, and he got an attitude, and then the parties and people coming in and blah blah blah. So it was kind of hard. For it to be a strictly content farm and making video f and Team 10 when you're constantly having parties, Jake Paul, it kind of like deters that. It's a totally different world. I get it. Vlogging and makeup, the other side, are totally two different worlds. And you put them together, the makeup portion always is going to take longer. It's just, it just is. And I don't think he understood that, right? I just kind of wish that, this is honestly, okay, like truthfully, I kind of wish Jake Paul would have mentored Cole better more efficiently like really sit down and be like this is what these people are like i feel like he had people jake paul had people in his ear telling him stuff and he was just over at the house and maybe he saw stuff that cole cole was doing and he didn't like it and then he was like you know maybe what they're saying is right so i think it was like he said she said going on in the background a lot of like little texting not texting being shady involved i think if jake paul really appreciated cole for his art form he would have mentored him and molded him into this make like he could be like the next oh, Nick tutorials or something and i think that jake paul didn't have the patience for somebody like cole because cole spicy the house you know you cannot tame the beast you know but i think he could have been an awesome mentor and i i, I kind of feel like i kind of feel like it's less about cole because cole's still he's still a young kid you know but jake paul's older he should have saw something i don't know it's so weird to talk about it because I'm not there, you know what I'm saying? But I think that what I'm trying to say is is getting out there. Nobody's perfect, okay? Does Cole have a mouth? Hell yeah. Does Jake Paul seem kind of childish sometimes? Yeah, same time. So it's kind of like a recipe for disaster in a way, but you kind of like wanted it to happen, but you kind of you kind of did not want it to happen because you kind of wish it's one of those moments where they kind of had like a, like a wake up moment and it was like, okay, no, you know what? I'm really going to foster and enrich this kid's life and show him the ways. I don't know, that's why I say I don't know. Let me know what you think about that Cole drama. I think that it's super easy to paint Cole as a villain, but I do think he's really misunderstood. I really do think that Cole is one of those people who you see him one time and you think you got it all figured out and it's just it's not the case. But we'll see where it goes. And look, his talent was good enough to get him into Team 10 he got in, he went into the lion's den and came out, survived. So who knows what he's going to accomplish next, you know? So set in positive vibes, girl. All right. So we got to talk about Manny Mooch, girl. Finally, I know, right? Manny Mooch is at it again, girl. Okay. Oh, my God. All right. So rumors are circulating that Manny MUA is Mooch in the house, girl. She's at it again. So recently, there was a at and you know, the phone company. Oh my gosh, they had a freaking party where they invited LGBT community. So Gigi Gorgeous was there. Mm, Shangela was there. Manny Mooch was there. All right, so there were the Kim Petras was there. Okay, so people were saying, Joella Puss on Instagram, so shady, I love her so much. She was saying that Manny approached Shangela and was like, I want you to be in my Halloween collection palette. So that's new to me, for, right here. If it's true, because you know we get a lot of tea here and half of it's wrong, but if it's true, what this is saying, the rumors are that Manny Mooch is coming out with the Halloween palette with drag queens, which means it'll probably come out in December. You know what I'm saying? He's kind of late to the game sometimes. But not to be confused with Manny Mooch's newest palette that's about to come out, which allegedly is gonna have like 
these colors, those are the rumors. These are the colors that are in his palette. We'll see if it's true or not. I don't know. But we're talking about Halloween. Okay, so Manny Way's coming out allegedly with the Halloween palette. Who'd care? <laughs> Some people are going to say, who'd care? But, you know, I have to review it. He's coming out with the Halloween palette with drag queens. Now, allegedly, according to the sources, that she went up to Shangela and was like, hey, I want you to be part of my Halloween campaign. And then, like, Shangela said, yeah, she would do it. And then that really, Shangela doesn't want to do it. So she just, you know, one of those moments when you say yes to people, but you really don't want to say it, but you say yes to be nice. That's what the rumors were. I don't even know if it's true. I don't even know if they even had that conversation. Like I said, it's all the rumor of the house. And I don't even know if Manny Mooch is coming out with a Halloween palette. Very interesting team. But, you know... I think that Maddie anyway should come out with another drag queen palette. I mean, the first one was kind of flop, so he kind of kind of like redeeming himself. But I have a lot of opinions about Maddie Moots, as you can see. Just type in Rich Lux Maddie Moots, just tons of videos. I just think that Maddie Moots has a huge ego, and he can't let it go. He can't let it, the ego down. And I also find I also kind of find him socially awkward and kind of weird though, in his own way. Because everyone's socially awkward and weird, but I just kind of feel like more him. But that's pretty much all the drama I have for you today. Do you think Manny Mooch will come out with the Halloween palette? And will you buy it? And do you think that call was justified or was he robbed of his fame with Team 10? We'll leave it, leave your comments down below and we'll get into all that, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.